In this video, I'll show you how to edit the WooCommerce Terms and Condition checkbox text in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'll be using two different methods. So one, we will edit um, this text here via the WooCommerce settings page. And then additionally, we'll create a checkbox to ensure that our users have read our terms and condition and that they agree to it. So we'll create this checkbox text using the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce. It's free. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can go ahead and download it and then we'll head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you'd go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the file in which you just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this AIO checkout menu here for all-in-one checkout. So we'll go ahead and click on it. And now we'll go ahead and create our first checkout layout. So I've already created one beforehand, but in your case, you'll just go ahead and click create new checkout. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and customize our checkout fields. And to do so, I'm gonna go ahead and click this settings icon here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this checkbox field right here. Let's go ahead and rearrange it. Okay, and now we'll click this settings icon on our checkout field and then we'll name it appropriately. Okay, and then for my label, I've just put, I have read and agreed to the website's terms and, well, just terms in my case. Let's just say terms and conditions. I'm gonna select this field as required. So for our customers to be able to check out, they will be required to check this box. I'm gonna just go ahead and tick required to make this field be required. And we can go ahead and reposition this terms and condition field. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here for now. So before we actually go ahead and save changes, there's a few other things we need to take care of. Okay, so the first being the design. In the future as well, we'll have a few predefined layouts. But in this case, you get to choose from a single column layout or a two column layout. So I've just selected two column here. And then from this settings page, we wanna go ahead and enable this um, checkout. And, and then for the name, we can just give it a name and it's just for internal purposes. So if you've got multiple different checkouts running um, for different user groups, you'll know exactly what each one does. Okay, so I'm just gonna name this one um, default to checkout. Okay, and this checkout will show to everyone we can select um, set it for guest users which are users logged out of your site a specific user role or a specific user so I'm just gonna go ahead and save changes okay and now when we refresh our checkout page okay so we've got our all-in-one checkout page design and here we can see this new terms and conditions here as I said we can go ahead and reposition this field so I'm gonna go ahead and place it under um, our place order button so to do so I'm gonna create a new section so if we scroll down we can see this payment field which will display all your payment gateway okay so I'm gonna create this new section here and then I'm gonna edit it and we're gonna delete the label because we don't want that showing okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop our terms and condition fields into our new section down here okay so now let's go ahead and save changes okay so now when we refresh this page we can see our terms and conditions here okay and then we can place this wherever we want so in this example i've just placed it below the place order button okay so now that we've created our terms and condition at checkbox which makes more sense than just having this message here i'm going to show you how we can actually edit this message within woocommerce and to do so let's head back over to our dashboard and we'll navigate to woocommerce and then settings and we'll navigate to account and privacy and then when we scroll down here, we can see this checkout privacy policy here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Let's save changes. In your case, you can go ahead, if you didn't wanna use um, the checkbox um, terms and condition option, in your case, you can just go ahead and change this to whatever you like. Okay, so let's head back over to our checkout and let's refresh the page. Okay, perfect. And that's how you edit the WooCommerce Terms and Condition checkbox text in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.